John Winston Lennon was born in England, October 9th, 1940. He was raised um, really in a, in a kind of classical British upbringing. He did not have very much money growing up. And uh, what's interesting about John Lennon is that all of the Beatles, and we forget this, but they really started out kind of slumming it in Liverpool, which was not London and which was certainly not the nicest place to grow up. Um, what makes John Lennon really, really interesting in his later life is not even necessarily his collaboration with the Beatles, um, but for all of the songs that he wrote, um, despite the fact that Lennon and McCartney are always, um, on all Beatles albums, are, are put together as co-songwriters, a lot of the more introspective songs were actually written by John Lennon, um, songs that really asked people to think. Um, songs that really ask people to go outside themselves. Um, John Lennon certainly was no stranger to controversy. Um, probably the most famous incident was at one point um, in 1966 where he was dumb enough to say, he, literally just in jest, that the Beatles were more popular than Jesus Christ. And this led to a horrible backlash against the Beatles. People were burning albums and people were going crazy. But in truth, really Lennon just meant that, that you know, that Everybody knew who they were, and he couldn't believe it. It was more a it was more a conscious statement on his part, going, "What's wrong with you people? That we're more important than Jesus," uh, which a lot of people don't realize about John. He was actually a very caring man and a very spiritual man. His first marriage with his wife Cynthia didn't work out all that well, and uh, his eldest son Julian uh, will tell you that his father wasn't around an awful lot. Although a lot of that is just to do with with his musical career at the time. His second marriage was. Um, Certainly a lot stranger to the public, but to John it seemed to be a perfect match. Uh, his marriage to Yoko Ono, who was an artist and um, she was really out on the fringe, he created a lot of music with her that his original Beatles fans didn't understand. Um, but we also need to remember that during his period with Yoko Ono, he, besides producing a, shun, a son, Sean, and really being happier than he had been in a long time, John Lennon wrote songs like Imagine when he was with Yoko and, and she made him really think outside that box and, and when John says, um, imagine there's no heaven, it's easy if you try, no hell below us, he's, he's really taking a punch against religion and a lot of people don't realize how at the time that was a huge big deal but his underlying message of course, um, again with Yoko, was to give peace a chance and despite the fact that he did some strange thing in the 70s like, you know, his, his uh, his bed-in in Montreal, where he and Yoko literally sat in bed promoting love for a week, peace and love and unity, and it, you know, you can get footage of it and it seems very strange. They're sitting in bed, There's, they're not getting out of bed, there's hearts everywhere, you're going, what are these people doing? But I mean, you realize, I mean, they were really the ones who pioneered this movement. Um, I, I'd like to leave you with, a, with a, an interesting anecdote about John Lennon. I mean, we all know the way that he died. He was tragically murdered outside his building, the Dakota, in New York in 1980 uh, by a deranged fan um, and uh, who, who basically believed that, that he and Lennon couldn't coexist on the universe at the same time. I mean, it's really tragic, not only that his life was cut short, but what he could have produced was cut short because John Lennon was, was such an amazing, not only musical force, but really... He made people think he made them open their minds. So I'd like to end with, um, with uh, an anecdote about John Lennon in, in what I, I would say is his Beatles heyday. It really kind of uh, emphasizes his mojo. John Lennon was the type of guy who, even when things were really rough, he never lost touch of himself and where he came from. And famously, in the 1960s, the Beatles were putting on one of their first performances and with the... Uh, most aristocratic people in British society there, including the Queen of England, and John Lennon gets up on stage and he says to the audience, all of you in the cheap seats up there, clap your hands. The rest of you can just rattle through your jewelry. And, uh, and everybody just burst out laughing. And John was just one of those people who was able to make everybody at ease and was able to say, okay, well, this is a ridiculous situation, but you know, we're going to take it and we're just going to go with it. And that's a man with mojo. So here's to John Lennon, another man on our men with mojo list.